Who's that girl? She's unconscious. I'll carry her into the shade. My name's Kiara, and who are you, stranger? I'm Steve. I found you unconscious not far from here. Do you remember what happened to you, Kiara? I was running to get help. Got exhausted and fell, I guess. Something horrible happened. In our desert settlement, a huge sandworm appeared in the very center of the square during the weekly gathering. I thought giant worms went extinct long ago. You managed to escape, but what about the rest? I was lucky, because I was standing at a slight distance from the rest. I didn't breathe that stinking gas the sandworm emitted. I decided not to go near, but the worm covered the people in the center of the square with its slime, capturing them in a cocoon. Then we'd better hurry. I read about these creatures. If we are too late, we won't be able to rescue the people from the cocoon. Let's hurry. I'll try to help. The sleeping gas has been dispersed. Looks like all the people are trapped in that cocoon. Let's get close and try to release them somehow. No, this shell can't just be broken. We'll need a special acid. Hurry, I've got everything we need. We're at my greenhouse. I checked the book and I think I've got all the necessary ingredients for the poison. We must make it before the sandworm hurts more people. I had some acid somewhere on the ground floor. We can use it to open the cocoon. It's dark down there, so take this crystal.
thanks, Kiara. If it wasn't for you... What about the rest? Are they alive? Yes. We lost consciousness because of that sleeping gas, and it was getting harder and harder to breathe in the cocoon that had been spun around us. Thanks for helping us out. No problem. Here, meet Steve. Can you get out without us? We'd like to return quickly, prepare the poison, and do away with the sandworm. Of course. Don't waste any more time. I think the rest will come back to their senses soon.
Who's there? I can hardly make out your shape. I'm Steve, and this is Kiara. We just landed down here. Don't tell me there are still people on the surface. That's incredible. Honestly speaking, we're as surprised as you are. Well, my name is Sander, and I've been living in these caves for as long as I can remember. I took refuge here with my parents. I was ten at the time, and I haven't been to the surface since. How are you surviving here all on your own? I got used to it. I even started to entertain myself with these few mechanisms my parents brought. True, I've gone almost completely blind. Uh, anyway, if you need my help, feel free to ask. My favorite musical clock. It's been broken for years. Uh, can you check if it can be fixed? Thanks for fixing my clock. Now everything will be like it used to be. But don't you want to go to the surface? Come with us. Oh, no, no. I can hardly believe life on the surface still exists. Although you two seem to prove it. I like it here just fine. In the sunlight, it will make me completely blind. The thing is, it's dangerous in here now. Kiara's settlement was attacked by a huge sandworm recently. Oh, yes. I heard some horrible noises in the deeper caves. The sandworm's lair is nearby. Oh no, he's not my kind of neighbor. Somewhere nearby. Look, its slime is everywhere. Let's finish the poison, then come back and deal with that worm.
Thank you.